you can see this is our concept mesh and we will make its production ready mesh so let's create it to make the model i'm going to add the cube then scale this cube along the z axis then move it along the z axis and take it on the floor and just adjust its scale after that you need to go to the edit mode and then you need to select the top face and use the insert operation then use the extrude operation and extrude it along the z axis you can adjust this height little bit after that you need to add the center loop cuts like this then you need to add the cylinder and we will go with the 16 words just adjust the scale of the cylinder and give its right position somewhere here in this corner then you can adjust its position and scale and just rotate it little bit and just try to match the corners so we can create the right topology easily then you can move this along the z axis then select this bottom face and then move this face along the z axis as like this then just you need to select this both object and you need to use the boolean operation union because we want to join them together then just you need to apply that boolean modifier after that you need to select this one third of the model and you need to delete it then just select this cutter object and then delete it then just you need to select these words like this and then merge them then you need to use the knife tool and you need to create the cuts like this to create that right topology and to create that support to structure for this boolean detail so that's why simply you need to create the cuts in this way just try to maintain the core base topology while creating the cuts just need to select these words and then merge them and then dissolve the extra edges which are there just use the knife tool one more time here and then create that cut to get that complete face loop then you can select these faces and then use the insert operation then you need to use the knife tool one more time and you need to create that loop structure around that boolean to maintain its form and to create that supportive structure at there in this way you can easily create that loop structure then just try to give the right position to the words and to refine that model then use the knife tool and then create the cuts like this to create the good topology on the model now here also you need to create the loop structure so just create that loop structure then you can select these words and then merge them at the center and you can give the right position to these words as like this then you can use the knife tool and then complete this cut now you need to add this kind of support to loop cuts then just create the cuts over here then you can select these faces and then use the insert operation and just create a little bit of boolean detail at there that's not difficult easily you can create this kind of boolean details just i'm trying to find out the design at there nothing anything difficult is there then you need to apply the scale and then you can use the insert operation if you are not able to use the insert operation then just apply the scale and then try to use the insert operation it will work here i'm just trying to create the design but i recreate that design because of the topology i want to keep the good topology also and i want to create the good design also so that's why then i'm going to select these faces with the shift select but before that just complete this cut and then you can select these faces and then e to extrude it and extrude it along its normal then you can turn on your extra mode select these words and then scale them along the y axis and these words along the x axis and make them flat then you can use the knife tool and then create a cut like this across the model then you can select this edge and then control x to dissolve it you can see you will get this kind of form this kind of loop structure that topology which will help us to support that structure then you can add the loop cuts like this these are just supportive loop cuts then you can add the sub d modifier one more time 
and then increase the sub D count up to 2 and now you can see we are getting the decent smooth sharing on the model just add the necessary loop cuts on it that's not a difficult thing easily you can do this and now you can see you can add the loop cuts like this and you can create the sharper corner add there or you can keep it as it is that smoother curve it's totally depend on you if you want to do this so you can see here i have just added that loop cut and now i'm dissolving this edges because i don't want to destroy the circular form of that inner cylindrical boolean so that's why i'm dissolving this edge loops so just need to select these edge loops and you need to dissolve them because i want a flat surface at there to weld the words i can't weld the words on a circular surface curved surface so that's why then you can add the loop cuts like this and then select the words right click connect vertex path and then you can weld the words in this way that will be pretty easier for you then you want to create any design then you can go and create design so that's why i destroyed that design and i am recreating that design you can create anything you can see there is a little bit of weird shading that also we can solve by adding one loop cut at there here we need to add loop cuts and then weld the words and then dissolve the edges is that simple yes and you can maintain the loop structure and you can maintain the sharper corner at there then you can add the more loop cuts if you want then now here also i'm trying to merge the words and then weld them and then you can dissolve the edge loops and now I'm getting the pretty good smooth shading on the model. Then just create the right loop structure at the bottom side. So that's why you can use the knife tool and you can create the cuts like this. Then just you need to add the mirror modifier and then take the symmetry along the X and Y axis. Make sure your mirror modifier should be top of your sub D modifier and turn on those clipping and merging option. So you will get this full form here. But we are facing the little bit of weird shading, so that's why I just turn off that mirror modifier. And you can see here are the faces, we need to delete these faces. So just delete these faces. And you will get smooth shading at there. And now you can see that looks really well. Just add the loop cuts like this. And if you want to create more design on it, you can definitely do this thing. So I have just applied that mirror modifier, I just want to create a little bit of design with a simple insert and extrude operation, easily you can do this. So now you can see the model looks decent, in this way we can create this kind of model, you can see its topology. I have tried to create the right good topology on the model and I have tried to achieve the design also. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. If you like this tutorial, then hit that like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Bye bye. So, next video, take care.